So welcome back. In today's episode, we're talking new Fujifilm lenses, one of which I'm thinking of buying. So Fujifilm held an X Summit last month where they revealed the X-H2S alongside these new lenses. In the last couple days and weeks, there's been new details on these lenses, which I am gonna discuss in today's episode. So before getting into the new releases, you guys can do me a huge favor by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, remember to hit the subscribe as well. And yeah, for those of you already subbed, huge thanks for the support. We just passed 800 hundred thousand views for this channel earlier this month which is kind of insane anyway let's get back to the lenses and talk about the new goodies Fujifilm have dropped so first up and the lens I'm most looking forward to is the 56 millimeter f 1.2 mark 2 so this is the lens I am looking forward to picking up myself I love shooting at that 50 millimeter focal range. I already own the 50 millimeter F2. I've taken some of my favorite shots with that lens. I've also used the 56 1.2 a bunch of times and I came really close to buying it before rumors about the Mark II version started coming out. The new 56 1.2 is gonna be weather resistant. It will have Fujifilm's new autofocus motors and it will also be housed in a new design. Fujifilm also stated that this lens is expected to be released at the end of 2022. Now, a couple notes on this new design. I don't know about you, but I do prefer Fujifilm's older lens designs. So when you look at the 23 1.4, the original, it has more of a kind of retro look to it. Same with the 35 1.4, and you compare that to the 33 1.4. The older 35 1.4, in my opinion, looks a lot better. And it's gonna be the same with the 56 1.2. I mean, for me, these older lenses are a bit like old classic cars. I love how they look. I know the newer cars and new designs of these lenses are sleeker, probably safer and better for the lens and better for the optics maybe. But I really do prefer how the older lenses look. I really like the old design. So when it comes to the 56 1.2 Mark II, it's gonna have the newer design and it'll probably look like the 33 1.4 or the 23 1.4 Mark II. So price wise, the new 56 1.2 is probably gonna cost the same amount as the original 56 1.2 when that was released, which is in the region of 850 to 950 pounds. This is how Fujifilm done it with the 23 1.4, so I expect they do the same for this 56 1.4 Mark II as well. This kind of leaves the 50 millimeter F1 in a weird position because the 50 F1 costs around 1,100 pounds, and if this new 56 1.2 costs in the region of 800 pounds, it's gonna make the 56 a no-brainer over that 50 millimeter f1 also the 50 f1 is larger and heavier than the 56 1.2 so again that's another reason to pick up the 56 and not the 50 but i'll dive a bit more deeper into this once this 56 mark ii is released as for me making this 56 1.2 weather resistant makes it worth the upgrade alone and having a new autofocus and motors in there as well that's an added bonus yes i prefer the older design but when it comes to doing street photography here in london where it rains a lot i really do appreciate having that weather resistance on my lenses and camera body. I was thinking of buying the 56 1.2 but decided not to when I heard they are making an upgrade to it and uh, yeah I'm probably going to trade my 50 f2 for this. I love shooting at that 50 millimeter range and the 56 was probably one of my favorite lenses that I've used which I do not own. So once this comes out I'll pick it up and share my thoughts with you guys but um, in the comments below do tell me if you are also thinking of buying this 56 1.2 or are you going to go for the original which will probably be a bit cheaper once this new version comes out. So Fujifilm also revealed two more primes at the X Summit. First up, there's the 8mm f3.5. This is going to be Fujifilm's widest lens. It's an ultra wide lens, probably for architecture and astrophotography and stuff like that. Um, there's not too many details on this lens, but Fujifilm have stated that it's going to be compact and lightweight. I'm guessing it's going to be in the f2 style of lens, like the 35 f2, the 50 f2, and 23 f2. Be kind of lightweight, small, something you can just stick in your pocket and carry around with you. It sounds kind of cool. I don't really shoot wide angle that often, but having an 8 millimeter option which fits in the pocket is going to be kind of interesting. Finally, Fujifilm also announced a 30 millimeter f2.8 macro lens. Now Fujifilm already have a couple lenses in this focal range. There's a 35 1.4, 33 1.4 and 35 f2. From the looks of it, it's going to be small and lightweight like Fujifilm's other f2 lenses and I believe it's going to be marketed as Fujifilm's more cheaper, as I said, affordable 
macro lens which you can fit in your pocket and walk around with. Now Fujifilm already offer a couple macro lenses. There's the 80 millimeter macro as well as a couple others which I cannot remember off the top of my head but they don't really have a macro lens which is affordable and small. So I'm guessing this 30 millimeter one is going to kind of fit in there and be the more affordable and cheaper option. <music> So that's the prime lenses out the way. Fujifilm did also announce two zoom lenses. First up, we've got the 18 to 120 millimeter f4. This is a video focus lens. And on the promo for this lens, they made a big deal about the stabilization and how smooth it is when it comes to changing aperture and changing focus and, and stuff like that. Finally, Fuji also announced the 150 to 600 millimeter lens, which is probably not for street photography and is more aimed at people doing sports or wildlife photography instead. But that just about wraps up today's episode i'd love to hear your thoughts on the upcoming lenses as i said earlier that 56 1.2 that really excites me and i am looking forward to picking that one up do the other lenses interest you that 8 millimeter or that 30 millimeter macro are these lenses you are looking at or are looking forward to drop your thoughts in the comments below i'll make sure to get back to you as always i really appreciate the support hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already subscribe as well stay safe and i'll catch you in the next one